test. Paper two. Listening. Test number four. There are five parts to the test. Parts one, two, three, four, and five. Look at the instructions for part one. You will hear five short conversations. You will hear each conversation twice. There is one question for each conversation. For questions one to five, put a tick under the right answer. Here is an example. Example. How many people were at the meeting? Were there many people at the meeting? About thirty. That's not many. No, but more than last time. The answer is thirty, so there is a tick in box C. Now we are ready to start. Look at question one. One. When is the party? Hello. Hello, Mary. It's Tom. Would you like to come to my birthday party? I'd love to. Your birthday's on Wednesday, isn't it? Yes, it is. But I'm having the party on Thursday. It's at my house. That sounds great. Thank you. Now listen again. Hello. Hello, Mary. It's Tom. Would you like to come to my birthday party? I'd love to. Your birthday's on Wednesday, isn't it? Yes, it is. But I'm having the party on Thursday. It's at my house. That sounds great. Thank you. Two. Where are the glasses? Are my glasses by the telephone? No. Where did you leave them? Well, I had them when I phoned Alice. Here they are on the floor. Now listen again. Are my glasses by the telephone? No. Where did you leave them? Well, I had them when I phoned Alice. Here they are on the floor. Three. How much are the shoes? Are these white shoes in the sale? Yes, they're ten pounds cheaper this week. So they're fifteen pounds sixty. That's right. Okay, I'll take them. Now listen again. Are these white shoes in the sale? Yes, they're ten pounds cheaper this week. So they're fifteen pounds sixty. That's right. Okay, I'll take them. Four. What will the weather be like in the afternoon? Would you like to play tennis this afternoon? I don't think we'll be able to. It's going to rain. But it's very sunny at the moment. Yes, I know, but it's going to change later. <sighs> That's a pity. Now listen again. Would you like to play tennis this afternoon? I don't think we'll be able to. It's going to rain. 
But it's very sunny at the moment. Yes, I know. But it's going to change later. <sighs> That's a pity. Five. What time will she take the train? Excuse me, is there a train to London at four o'clock? No, but there's one at a quarter to four, madam. Hmm, that's too early. When's the one after that? Uh, ten past five. Yes, I can catch that one. Now listen again. Excuse me, is there a train to London at four o'clock? No, but there's one at a quarter to four, madam. Hmm, that's too early. When's the one after that? Uh, ten past five. Yes, I can catch that one. This is the end of part one. Now look at part two. Listen to Teresa talking to Paul about presents for his family. What is she going to buy for each person? For questions six to ten, write a letter, A to H, next to each person. You will hear the conversation twice. Paul, as I'm visiting your family at Christmas, I'd like to take them some presents. What do you suggest? Oh, that's a good idea. Well, let's start with my brothers. Kevin likes reading, so buy him a book. And John really likes sports, so something to do with football might How be. How about a football shirt? Fine. Then there's Anne. She loves the theatre, so you could get her some tickets to a show. All right. Now, what about your parents? What are they interested in? Well,. My mother likes classical music, but my father just likes watching television. <laughs> so I can get her a cassette and、um, him a video. The cassette's a good idea. I'm not sure about the video.、Hmm. Then what about a tie? Oh yes, he'd like that. Fine. That only leaves you, Paul. What would you like for Christmas? <laughs> well, I'd like to go out for dinner one day. Okay. We can do that. Now listen again. Paul, as I'm visiting your family at Christmas, I'd like to take them some presents. What do you suggest? Oh, that's a good idea. Well, let's start with my brothers. Kevin likes reading, so buy him a book. And John really likes sports. So something to do with football might. How be a... about a football shirt? Fine. Then there's Anne. She loves the theatre, so you could get her some tickets to a show. All right. Now, what about your parents? What are they interested in? Well, my mother likes classical music, but my father just likes watching television. <laughs> so I can get her a cassette and.、Um... Him a video. The cassette's a good idea. I'm not sure about the video.、Hmm. Then what about a tie? Oh yes, he'd like that. Fine. That only leaves you, Paul. What would you like for Christmas? <laughs> well, I'd like to go out for dinner one day. Okay, we can do that. This is the end of part two. Now look at part three.
Listen to Carlos making a phone call. For questions eleven to fifteen, tick A, B, or C. You will hear the conversation twice. Look at questions eleven to fifteen now. You have twenty seconds. Now listen to the conversation. Hello, West College. Which department would you like? The library, please. The library is closed until Thursday. Can I help you? Yes, my name is Carlos Sanchez, and I'd like some information. I'm a student at the Central School. And I'd like to join the library. Do you have a student card from your school? No, I don't. Ah, well then you must bring a letter from your teacher, and two photos. Okay. How much does it cost to join? Well, it usually costs three thousand pesetas, but students can join for one thousand five hundred. Oh, good. And can I take books out? Yes. You get four tickets, and you can keep the books for three weeks. Right. When is the library usually open? From eleven a.m. to eight thirty p.m. weekdays, and ten thirty to two thirty on Saturdays. Okay. And what's the address of the library, please? It's in Murdoch Street. Shall I spell that for you? Ah,、uh, yes, please. Okay, it's M U R D O C H. Fine, I've got that. Well, thank you and goodbye. Goodbye. Now listen again. Hello, West College. Which department would you like? The library, please. The library is closed until Thursday. Can I help you? Yes, my name is Carlos Sanchez, and I'd like some information. I'm a student at the Central School, and I'd like to join the library. Do you have a student card from your school? No, I don't. Ah, well then you must bring a letter from your teacher, and two photos. Okay. How much does it cost to join? Well, it usually costs three thousand pesetas, but students can join for one thousand five hundred. Oh, good. And can I take books out? Yes, you get four tickets, and you can keep the books for three weeks. Right. When is the library usually open? From eleven a.m. to eight thirty p.m. weekdays. And ten thirty to two thirty on Saturdays. Okay. And what's the address of the library, please? It's in Murdoch Street. Shall I spell that for you? Ah,、uh, yes, please. Okay. It's M U R D O C H. Fine. I've got that. Well, thank you and goodbye. Goodbye. This is the end of part three. Now look at part four. You will hear a woman. Telephoning a garage about her car. Listen, and complete questions sixteen to twenty. You will hear the conversation twice.
Jackson's garage. Can I help you? Yes, please. I'm having some trouble with my car. Can you come to have a look at it? Can I have your name, please, Miss? Yes. My name's Mary Wilson. Now, what's the trouble? It's the brakes. When I was driving to work this morning, they weren't working very well. Oh dear. Don't worry. We'll come and repair them. Thank you. Can you tell me your address, please? Well, I'm at my office. It's at thirty-one Hill Road. The car's parked outside the office. Could we also have your office phone number? Yes, it's three five zero five one nine. Can you come this morning? I'm afraid we can't. We're very busy until lunchtime.、Oh, it's very important. I really need my car tonight. How soon can you come? Well, we can come at say two p.m. Okay, thank you. And what type of car is it? It's a red Toyota. Okay, see you this afternoon. Great, thank you. Bye. Now listen again. Good morning, Jackson's Garage. Can I help you? Yes, please. I'm having some trouble with my car. Can you come to have a look at it? Can I have your name, please, Miss? Yes, my name's Mary Wilson. Now, what's the trouble? It's the brakes. When I was driving to work this morning, they weren't working very well. Oh dear. Don't worry. We'll come and repair them. Thank you. Can you tell me your address, please? Well, I'm at my office. It's at thirty-one Hill Road. The car's parked outside the office. Could we also have your office phone number? Yes, it's three five zero five one nine. Can you come this morning? I'm afraid we can't. We're very busy until lunchtime.、Oh, it's very important. I really need my car tonight. How soon can you come? Well, we can come at say two p.m. Okay, thank you. And what type of car is it? It's a red Toyota. Okay, see you this afternoon. Great, thank you. Bye. This is the end of part four. Now look at part five. You will hear a man talking on the radio. Listen and complete questions twenty-one to twenty-five. You will hear the information twice. And now, in this part of the program, we try to put people in contact with their old school friends. So, if you remember any of these people and you want to see them again, then listen carefully. Right. Now, the first person this morning is Janet Craig. That's spelled C R A I G. And I'll give you her telephone number in a minute or so. Janet said she was at Green Park School in South London for six happy years, and she wants to meet all her old friends again. She started at the school in 1984, and she was very sorry when she left to get a job in 1990. So. If you were at Green Park School between those dates, then please phone Janet. She's waiting to hear from you, and her number is five eight seven 
six three four. That's five eight seven six three four. I'm sure you'll have lots to talk about. Now listen again. And now, in this part of the program, we try to put people in contact with their old school friends. So, if you remember any of these people and you want to see them again, then listen carefully. Right. Now, the first person this morning is Janet Craig. That's spelled C R A I G. And I'll give you her telephone number in a minute or so. Janet said she was at Green Park School in South London for six happy years, and she wants to meet all her old friends again. She started at the school in 1984, and she was very sorry when she left to get a job in 1990. So. If you were at Green Park School between those dates, then please phone Janet. She's waiting to hear from you, and her number is five eight seven six three four. That's five eight seven six three four. I'm sure you'll have lots to talk about. This is the end of part five.